coaches. He's a schoolboy football, a team could rise and a team could fall. But they never will know until the whistle blows so around. Come enjoy the show. He's a school. Up, they will be putting out today. So here's Algerius. They line up as a 4 3 3 with Malik Martin in goal, a back four of Jaheem Williams, Sean Harris, Joachim Carruthers, and Michael Chambers in the middle of the park. To John Bird, Simeon Scott, and Jaden Haynes. And up top, to Jay McIntosh with the eight goals, seven assist man. Keanu Reed with 10 goals, and Malik Hugh with eight goals. They're coached by Ewan Keane. Ocherias finished second in zone I. Let's see what they can come up with. Happy Grove, they line up also as 4 3 3. Goalkeeper Shadane McLeod, a back four of Dante Burke, Nyron Murray, Javor Lawrence, and Mario Barkley in the middle of the park. Sean Williams, Siobhan Miller, Jabari Ellis. And up top, Bonnie Chisholm, Moshane Chambers, and Demar Malcolm. Happy Grove, quite impressive. The seventh seeded team into the Costa Cup. Here are the full time highlights. Ocherius High School started so sprightly in this encounter. And this man, the number nine, McIntosh, flashed that one wide. He would come even closer. And everyone on hand loved the action early in the game. Had another opportunity. This time through Hugh, that was blocked. And a wonderful delivery from Bird to Scott. That too was flashed wide. They were all clapping. The action was enthralling at the moment. Miller was a menace. He lifted that one over the top. And Chambers flashed it wide. To that point, nothing was on target. Ocherius, though, they would push forward. Hugh did well to get around his marker. And a great save, a big save from Shadane McLeod. Would have blocked Tajay McIntosh from opening the scoring. But the breakthrough would come in the 36th minute. Bird to McIntosh, to the upright. But Reed was on hand. Ocheria said that time, a goal to the good. They had the better of the opportunities, did Ocherias, and they certainly look purposeful. Some slick passing and all of that. And along the run of play, they took the lead. In the second half, though, this foul from Sean Harris on Siobhan Miller. A red card, a man down, a goal to the good, Siobhan Miller. His first of the afternoon, the captain for Happy Grove, doing well from the spot. Had a silencer. That was a beautiful header. He al almost made a goal out of nothing at all. He had another glorious opportunity getting by not one but two defenders. And he flashed it just wide of the upright. Yeah. Poor defensive work that and Miller was left with the goalkeeper Malik Martin and he didn't say hi he said bye and easily they took the lead happy Grove I'll tell you Malik Martin forlorn pitcher at the end of that sequence of play they loved it happy Grove in front coming from behind Ocherias, they would continue to push, trying to get the equalizer. And in the dying moments, Shadane McLeod with a fantastic save, keeping Happy Grove in the lead. Stefan Duar saw enough. Happy Grove, they had enough. Two goals to one. Here are the statistics for the full time. Six shots for Ocherias on target, 14 in total. Four shots on target for Happy Grove from 14 attempts, 18 fouls, 10 to Ocherius, four yellow cards. It was really that kind of game shown to Ocherius, one for Happy Grove. They also had a red card in Ocherius, four offsides, three to Ocherius, seven corner kicks for Happy Grove, three 
two rather for Ocho Rios. Shadeen McLeod had to make five saves. Malik Martin had to make two. And the line share of the possession, 53 for Happy Group. And they have the goods as well. Two goals to one. They are the winners in the first leg. We're standing by with for Kimani for Sullivan. He has the KFC man of the match. All right, thank you, Dean. I'm here with your KFC man of the match, Siobhan Miller of Happy Grove. Siobhan, congratulations. You play for Happy Grove, but that second goal seemed like happy birthday. How do you feel about that second one, going around the keeper and slotting it in? Feeling good. Normal duty, you know? And speak to me about that penalty in particular, how calm you were to slot it away as well. Very calm, very calm. Very, very calm as Cristiano Ronaldo. You guys were speaking, you know, you were speaking to the goalkeeper before the penalty. What was he saying to you? No, he was saying I'm not good. I'm an idiot. And I prove him wrong because he's the idiot. And I'm sure you're feeling happy about going into that second leg 2-1 up, right? Yes, very good, very, very good. All right, congratulations, Siobhan. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, very happy man is Siobhan Miller of Happy Grove. I'm joined now by Coach Peter King. Coach, it's an eventful game. Where do I start? How do you see that game today? Well, a um, couple of misfortunes, you know what I mean? And you can't do anything about that. They're just lucky team on the day and we have to just move on, you know, to the next game. Well, you lost your captain and the lead in one fell swoop, that red card to your skipper. Yeah, man, big, 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 big loss. You know what I mean? Big, big loss was a kick and miss by the other centre back and he had to cover. Unfortunate that he accidentally tripped, but it's a red card nonetheless, so we have to just move on. And what does that mean for your second leg? Well, uh, uh, one way to do it, you know, we just have to just do it, you know. Just do it like Nike said, nothing else, you know. And you seemed a very disgruntled figure with every refereeing call as the. I the think play went it was on. a bit unfortunate. I think I, I'm wondering if my team is super aggressive. It's just that's it, nothing else. And it doesn't mean that they're not. It's just that, um, you know, as coaches, you know, you, you know, it goes sometime. You know and I mean, but I think, I don't know. Maybe my team is super aggressive. I don't know. I, I just don't know really. You All know right, coach, mean? you have another chance. So looking forward to yeah, it. Yeah, man, def definitely. Thank you. Thank you, coach. We'll be joined now by Coach Wallace of Happy Grove, a happy man, of course. You've won the first leg 2-1. You're going into that second leg with a goal advantage. How are you feeling? Uh, it's, it's, it's one one round. You know, we got some good fists in. If you know me, thumping is, is what I'm into. And we get a good game out of today's result and away from home. So three points are going home. It's always good. At one point, you, it looked like you wouldn't have let that man advantage tell, but you managed to get that second goal via your skipper. How happy are you about that? Never say that is what we hold on to. And thus, we, we, we knew what the game plan was. We knew we wanted three points. And so we, we keep pressing and it worked out. And in terms of that last minute save by a goalie, how crucial was that? It's all a work in progress. Everybody's working together. He's there to do his job and he did it. Well, you're back to Carter Park in the next game. Home game, how are you feeling about that? Looking forward to that. Looking forward to have a good game. City Ocherai's team is a well-coached team, physical team, but back home we'll do what we need to do. Right, thank you, Coach. Fall. But you never will know until the whistle blows around, come enjoy the show. Isa. 